On the 22nd of February, the J2s of 2021 returned to the college to receive their results. On arrival, they were directed to the assigned classrooms to collect their results, instead of as a cohort in a school hall as part of the COVID-19 safe management measures. While waiting for Mr Lau to address them, they caught up with one another. Mr Lau welcomed our graduated students back to the college via Zoom. He shared with them how well they had performed and commended them on their efforts. I would first like to congratulate you on your outstanding performance. And as I've mentioned, your cohort has done very well despite the COVID-19 crisis over the last two years. Please give yourself a big round of applause before we go on to the details. The distinction rates for almost all the H2 subjects have improved. Six in 10 of you have scored 85 rank points and better. And one in two have scored distinctions in at least three H2 subjects. Nine in 10 got merit and better for H3 subjects. Well done, NYJCNs. Our DSA students and student leaders have put up a spectacular showing and a large proportion of them have done very well. We spoke to a few of our seniors to find out how the NYJC experience has nurtured them. For Rachel, she shared how her involvement in the various programs enabled her to give back to the community. I participated in Galileo's Community Leadership Project whereby we worked with people like the Minister of Parliament, Mr. Sia Kim Ting, to organise a virtual event to raise awareness for sarcopenia for elderly in our community, which is Bradwell Heights. So as the president of Gym Club, I led our team in order to initiate NY Strong and NY Fit. NY Strong was a project to promote fitness during the home based learning period, and NY Fit was to train um, our boys for high speed. As an NYJCN, I think I've become more confident in my abilities and I think I've become more compassionate to the people around me. I also think that I've become more outgoing as a person. Um, in NYJC, we are encouraged to make a lot of friends and I think that um, as a previously very introverted person, I think in NYJC, I've stepped out of my comfort zone and made um, quite, uh, quite very many friends. For Sophia, she became an even more confident person as she volunteered to take on roles that allowed her to grow and glow. A project I took part in was the open house video tour in 2021. For me, I found it quite challenging because filming in front of a camera is rather difficult and very unfamiliar. But at the same time, I found a lot of fulfillment in doing the project because I managed to overcome the discomfort with the help of my MC partner Mars and the other people I was working with. And I also found it very fulfilling because I managed to try something that I never imagined myself doing before. I've grown a lot as an NYJCN as I feel like I've learned to be a lot more confident in myself. During my time in NY, I tried a lot of new experiences, especially when I took up several leadership positions. At first, there was a lot of fear because I had to really put forth my ideas with confidence and be assured in my own decisions. But over time, I learned to be more comfortable with myself, especially with the guidance I had with my friends and teachers. Keith and Lucas shared about how they have grown through taking up leadership positions in their respective CCAs. One project that I took part in was actually recruitment, where I was in charge of recruiting as well as training the next batch of student counsellors. It was actually a very fulfilling experience, even for me because I got to hold my leadership skills in terms of nurturing my juniors and also working with my fellow counsellors and we are flexible in the way that we do things to give our juniors the best experience that they can have. As the president of the NYJC choir, I led several projects in my CCA but I think the more memorable one was the SYF arts presentation that we had to prepare for. I think it was very significant for me as I learned many, many leadership um, skills uh, through this um, project. I think I've grown a lot in terms of my leadership um, skills and potential. Uh, this was my first time holding such a major position and I had to learn uh, what it means to be a good leader. We also asked them about their secrets to success. Be consistent in your revision efforts, in terms of doing practice papers and reviewing your corrections. Additionally, I think it's really important to get enough sleep. Time management is also really important and um, organising your work into um, productive like, uh, slots of time during the day um, can help you a lot with time management. One advice that I would give my juniors would be to really just keep going even if the going gets tough. Go for meaningful consults and lastly, always remember that 
If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you.